Your tools are used all day long, passing in and out of your hands and possibly the hands of others. The CDC recommends regular cleaning to remove germs and lower risk of spreading infection. There are a few recommendations to keep in mind for how to clean and sanitize your fluke tools without damaging them. When you want to clean your fluke tools, you want to use a isopropyl alcohol pad or isopropyl solution of 70%. You don't want to use any more on that as it may damage the markings of the meter or damage the screen. You don't want to use any type of abrasive cleaner as well as that may also damage the meter itself. You can use 3% hydrogen peroxide solution and that's great for everyday cleaning as well. Uh, you can use fluke meter cleaning wipes but you don't want to do that every day and you don't want to put it on the lens itself as the LCD the, that might get damaged. When cleaning your LCD screen you want to use a microfiber cloth. You don't want to use an abrasive cleaner on the LCD screen. Use alcohol or a commercial lens cleaner with at least 30% isopropyl alcohol. Be sure not to use acetone as it can damage the plastics. Never reuse a cleaning wipe. Always grab a fresh one each time. Once you wipe the screen down, do not rub it dry. Let the lens air dry and be sure that the solution evaporates quickly so it leaves no residue behind. If you're working with fiber optic testers, don't be tempted to use the same products that you use to clean the outside of the instrument to cleaning the fiber optics. Isopropyl alcohol can leave behind microscopic residue that can cause serious problems with fiber connections. Use only solvents and products like these designed to clean fiber optics. Finally, you should also consider an inspecting and if necessary, cleaning the fiber optic ports on those models. Most testers that come in for service are found to have dirty ports. You can learn how to clean the ports by visiting the Fluke Networks Knowledge Base and searching for the word clean.